Edinburgh resident Eric Simona has been missing for exactly seven days now. He was last seen in the Salmonwell area and tonight his family is still holding on to hope that he's still alive. Family members of 20-year-old Eric Simona say he was likely looking for quick and easy money when he agreed to help smuggle undocumented immigrants around the Falfurtius checkpoint. You know, he had to be convinced to do it because that, I mean, I know my brother, you know, I, I know him. If it didn't seem right or if it didn't feel right to him, he would not have done it. The smuggling attempt was foiled and Eric ran trying to avoid being caught by authorities. His cousin who was with him promised to go back for him, but that never happened. The next day, his mother learned he was missing and the last words he spoke to his cousin. He called me that he was scared, that he was thirsty, and there was two person running behind him. Eric's family has spent the last five days searching the vast ranch lands of Brooks County. They know he may be near death and that every second counts. Just come home, bro. We're here looking for you, man. This year, 50 undocumented immigrants have succumbed to the elements in Brooks County. The sweltering heat and sand-like dirt makes this area a death sentence to anyone who becomes lost. Although Eric was allegedly committing a crime, the local sheriff's department and border patrol have been actively looking for Eric, hoping to find him alive. The immigration crisis has presented opportunities that smuggling organizations are cashing in on. Living here and with that type of situation going around here in the valley, that Every parent should advise their kids, whether they're young or teenager or in their 20s, you know, to stay away from things like that. This is one mother who wished she'd been given this advice before her son ended up missing. Eric Simona's family has filed a welfare concern report with the Edinburgh Police Department. They're also in constant contact with the Brooks County Sheriff's Office and Border Patrol. For now in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.